Today on News Bites, Israel Palestine updates, climate disaster scams, and BLM becomes PLM? Stick around for these bites and more, all on today's News Bites. Okay, real fast, the Israeli-Palestinian war continues with the death toll exceeding 3,000 with over 1,200 fatalities and 3,400 injuries in Israel and at least 900 fatalities and 4,500 injuries in Gaza. Israel has since reclaimed the territory Hamas overtook and has completed its total blockade of Gaza, blocking food, fuel, water, electricity, and resources from entering the territory. Over 2 million Palestinians live in the Gaza Strip, the most densely populated region on Earth, about two times the size of Washington, D.C., now prepares for a full Israeli retaliation. All right, here's the story. 20 or more Americans, quote, are missing in Israel. With 14 dead, the U.S. considers a special ops mission to retrieve Americans held by Hamas. Any mission will require intelligence sharing and military coordination with Israel. This comes as the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier strike group arrives in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Back home, BLM groups across the country are taking a stance on the issue, supporting Palestinian people and their, quote, resistance to 57 years of settler colonialism and apartheid with the correction of 75 years. They're proudly supporting Hamas's tactics and using them to leverage racial tensions in order to organize their BLM grassroots campaigns in protests. Okay, check this out. Israel and Gaza exchanged rocket-fired airstrikes today, with Hamas sending rockets into Israel and Israel striking the Rafah border crossing point. It's the sole crossing point between Egypt and the Gaza Strip. Egyptian fuel trucks were seen leaving the area after Israel warned Egypt about providing aid to the area. Many Palestinians are also trying to flee through this only remaining exit point, as Israel really forces approach the territory. Watch. Okay, here's the latest. Three major LGBTQ plus rights groups, HRC, NCTE, Action Fund, and Equality PAC, endorsed Biden's re-election. They cited his support for LGBTQ issues like signing the Respect for Marriage Act and appointing LGBTQ plus judges and cabinet members. The endorsements come ahead of National Coming Out Day on October 11th. This also follows rhetoric from potential 2024 GOP candidates for banning, quote, gender-affirming care and child mutilation. The endorsements signal Biden's re-election strategy to mobilize LGBTQ plus and younger voters. All right, and in case you missed it, RFK Jr. has taken over for independence in the country, and now he's going to run for president as an independent. Some say this is the only shot that he has as Democrats will nudge him out. Others say it's a tactic to suck independent votes away from Trump. Take a listen. This country is ready for a history-making change to reclaim their freedom, their independence. And... And that's why I'm here today. I'm here to declare myself an independent candidate. Okay, the media and UN are using, quote, misleading statistics and models to claim man-made climate change has made weather disasters more common. Disaster databases, though, show an increase in reported disasters, not actual disasters. And reports used to be sparse before recording technology and measures were widely available. Researchers say the data only reliably indicate disaster trends since 2000, when the internet, cell phones, and then social media allowed for better reporting. Since 2000, data also shows a decline in weather disasters, not an increase with deaths also declining over 95%. So those are today's bites, which are on our website at disclose.tv. Subscribe and leave those comments below.